Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube episode. Behind me on the hoist, we have Jamie 76. As you can see, something a little bit different. We got a uh, Sandy Torp Cradle going in his 76 for a 3900 two inch post rego GVM upgrade. Uh, we got a whole host of other accessories going on this car, uh, which include your ARB bar work, side rails and steps. Uh, we got the winch going in there. Uh, got a Kmart bar on the back for him. Safari Armac snorkel, that's gonna go into the Fats Fabrication airbox. Full chrome delete, so getting rid of all the chrome off above the, uh, the window sills and the door handles and locks and stuff like that. We're also gonna color code the flares for the Sandy Torp as well. Uh, got a compressor set up going in there and in cab control so we can do that on the fly. Come through it and let's have a look.
hello and welcome back to the 76. I have successfully coil converted the rear end. So everything is in now. I am at the point of tidying up. So things like breathers and fuel lines and stuff like that. Literally just got to whack some cable ties around some things. Then it is wheels on, bring the thing down because I still need to do the brake booster as part of the GBM. So that's going to go in. At the same time though, we will do the snorkel. It makes it a lot easier when the boost is out to do the snorkel at the same time. But there you go, look at that. Ta-da! There's a lot of sandy things happening in this one, which is pretty cool. So that's where we're at. And very, very soon, wheels, tires, bring it down and let's get a snorkel going, hey? So let's do it. <laughs> Okay, 76 series update. Snorkel's done. And that is in combination with a FATS fabrication airbox, as you can see. So we've done that, that's in, ready to rock and roll. Bar work's gone on, so bar, steps, side rails and everything. Winch is in, carbon 12,000 pound winch. We do have our isolator right here. Grill goes in front of that, so you can still get to that when you open your bonnet. Uh, what the boys are doing now, is come for a quick walk and I've got a Kmar bar that's going on this thing. All right, here's the bar. So we've prepped up the sides of the vehicle already. I've got the bar prepped up. So, you know, lights are in there. They're all pretty wide, ready to go. So is the car side. So literally all we got to do next, once the guys do a bit of work inside, because we are doing some wiring down in the rear quarter here. So we're going to do that before this goes on, give us a little bit of extra space to get in there and do it uh, and then once we've done that we're gonna then put the bar up and whip slap it on the back of the car Hello, it is morning time, and we've got the Kmart bar on the car, as you can see. So, what does that mean? That means we are doing a swing away wheel carrier on this side, and we are yet to get our dual jerry can holder for the passenger side. So that is coming. It was supposed to be here, but you know, it's um, tough days with deliveries and stuff like that these days. Um, what we are doing is we are putting some manual airbag up, down Schrader valves into the bar, the top of the bar, so they're not down here. We kind of tuck them away in behind the swingaways. That way it's just easy access if you ever do need to. This vehicle does have in-cab air control though, so we kind of don't need them but we always like to have them there just in case something electronically fails or a fuse goes or something weird. You can still air your bags up or down manually if you need to. Um, so that's a thing as well. This does incorporate a tow bar. Kmart, uh, I'm pretty sure are the only ones who do, but I have not checked every single rear bar, so don't quote me on that. Anyway, as far as full bar replacement, these guys include a tow bar in theirs. Some of the others don't, but whatever. I'll have to triple double check that, so that's a thing. Uh, but it suits really nicely on these. I like the Kmart on the 76. Um, that's kind of it. 
they come with the lights in them because once you do the swingaways, you can't see your lights on the side of the car anyway. And the genuine bumper has stop, park and indicator in them. They don't have reverse, the reverse is still up the top, but everything gets transferred down to the bar anyway, which is full LED. That's a good thing. Um, and that's pretty much it. It does have a spot there for your tow plug as well. That's probably another good thing to point out. But happy days. We've done that, bar is on. It maintains your genuine flares and everything. They've actually got some pretty sick little brackets that maintain those so they can stay uh, doing what they're doing. And it does have, for your side wings, they don't just kind of go on and sit there. They've actually got brackets that hold them in place as well. So it kind of keeps the whole thing neat and tidy and protects the arse end of these things as well. Plus, it gets your spare off the door and onto the bar, which is a bit of a plus. I mean, these things actually put up with a fair bit of weight on that rear door. They are designed to carry the genuine spare and um, have had a few different people now with 76s run a 35 on that back door and have no issues. So they're pretty sturdy. But that's the rear end coming together. Uh, a couple of finishing touches. Uh, we're just throwing some diff breathers in now as well and she is almost finitoed for stage one. So pretty cool, the thing's gonna look nice and we're gonna get it out the door very, very soon. So here we go. All right guys, Jamie's 76 is all complete now. So we are going to run you through absolutely everything that we have done to it and show you why it is cape ready. You may wonder how Jamie is getting to the Cape. He's rolling on the Method 312 HD. So these are the low graded uh, wheels to suit the J-Max kit. They're wrapped in the Falcon Wild Peak tires, area 285-7017. Jump underneath, uh, we'll have a look at the J-Max setup. So Jamie's 76 came to us registered. Um, this means that it is a modification plate. So it's Queensland applicable GBM of 3900. To achieve the 3900, we've gone to the coil conversion. So as you can see here, there is no rear leaf springs anymore. We've got the coils in there. And then we've got the J-Max braced rear diff housing. So that's a complete new housing. In the back, uh, we have put the original diff into the housing though. Opted for some sandy torp. So the vehicle sandy torp, we've got a sandy torp diff and then up higher, we've got the Sandy Torf Cradle. So looking more in depth at the J-Max coil conversion on Jamie's car, like I said before, we've got the track corrected diff housing. So the diff housing on a factory 70 series is a little bit narrow. You'll notice they look like they're crabbing up the road and the front axle is wider than the rear. So J-Max has developed the housing here to extend it and make it essentially the same as the front. Front and rear coils. So like I say, this one is a coil conversion on his 76. So we've got new load rated coils, front and rear to suit the weights that he is carrying. Inside the rear coils, we've got the Airbag Man high pressure airbags as well. In the kit, we have a new torque exhaust. This one is developed around the coil conversion. So three and a half inch DPF back, keeping the DPF in there for legal reasons. Can we say that? Yeah. <laughs> There is a multitude of shock options with the J-Max kit. Jamie has decided to run the Alpha Remote Res manual adjustment shocks, which gives you 24 stage of adjustment in your compression. So if he's uh, loaded up, he can stiffen it up or make it a bit softer, depending on the, the road that he's uh, traveling on and, and, and where he's about to be. So like I was saying before, they are 24 stage adjustable. So on the top of the reservoir here, you've got the, uh, the little adjustment. You can feel each click, and by turning them anti-clockwise will make them a lot softer, and then obviously vice versa, by turning them clockwise will stiffen the vehicle right up and make it a bit more like a race car, if you will. 
keeping underneath the vehicle at the moment, working with custom off-road, we have the BAW spec bash plates. So that's a uh, radiator plate there, and then a little bit back further, we've got the transfer case and gearbox uh, bash plate as well. So protecting the front of the car and down the side, we have the ARB bar work. So your front large tube bar with your side rail and your step working our way around the back. Helping with departure angles and towing, Kmar have come to the party here for their rear bar. This one here has the swing away on the right hand side. Jamie has a jerry can holder coming as well for his trip up to the Cape. So Jamie has gone for a few personal touches on his 76. Um, the flares on the 70 series come in a really strange gray pewter color is what they call it. Jamie's done the color match flare all the way around. And a few other little things is chrome. We've deleted all the chrome off the car. So door handles, front and rear with the locks, mirrors, badges, the grill and then this chrome strip that goes all the way up and along and around the back of the vehicle as well. The big V8 needs to suck a lot of air. Safari Armac Snorkel, which is a four inch tube, down into the Fats Fabrication high flow air box. Uh, so that will alleviate any sort of dusting issues that we have seen in the past with 70s and 200s. Also under the bonnet and part of the J-Max kit, uh, these cars are heavy. We're talking 3,900 GVM, we're gonna load it up. You need to stop the car. J-Max brake booster as well, double di diaphragm. Hiding behind the ARB bar work is the carbon 12,000 pound winch. So we've got the isolator easy reach under the bonnet. So that alleviates people being able to put prongs into your winch and run it out, run it in and do weird things when you're not with the car. Part of this kit, we do in cab control. So you got in and out by the flick of a switch inside the cab. So you don't need to remove yourself. With the convenience of in-cab controls, air up and down for the airbag. So over here, we've got left and right air up and down with the compressor switch here as well. The compressor is located under the passenger's seat. So we've got the ARB twin compressor uh, with the air outlet on the side. And then we have a gauge up here to read what pressure is actually in your airbags. So that concludes Jamie's 76 build. I understand it is off to the Cape now as soon as he picks it up. Guys, like and subscribe. We got videos out every week. Just leave it there. Don't even need to say anything.